Hey guys, Carrie Gardner here with Center Stick Effects. Today's movement of the day is the back squat. In the past, we've done some um, some of my movements. I've shown you the goblet squat. Um, we've done box squats. Now it's time to progress into seeing what it looks like to squat with the Olympic bar on your back. Uh, the first thing we want to talk about is your base of support. When you're squatting, your feet should be a little bit like right at shoulder width apart or slightly wider. You want a slightly toed out position. As you're getting into the squat, the first thing you have to do is activate your core, activate your pelvic floor. So we're going to pull up on the pelvic floor. We're going to draw the abs back. I want you to think about the carpet. If there was a straight line splitting me into right and left halves, I want you to try to rip the carpet apart with your feet. That's going to activate the external rotators of your hip and it's going to keep your knees tracking to the outer two toes on each foot as you go down into the squat. While you're squatting, you always want to maintain what's called spine neutral, which is where you can see the curvature of your back here. I don't want you tucking your tail up underneath you. You want to reach and sit back as you're going through the squat. The other really important thing that you want to think about, your shoulder should never drop faster than your hips are lowering to the floor. You should have an even um, rate of descension down towards the ground. So. I will show you what that looks like. You always want to make sure that you're nice and centered um, under the squat rack. So you get the bar up. You want your body up underneath the bar for your lift off. So we're lifting off here and then we're taking that step back. So my feet now, I'm looking down just to look at where my toes are, but I want to spot high on the wall. If you spot high on the wall, that keeps your scapular thoracic joints in the correct position. My pelvic floor is engaged now. My abs are tight. I'm pulling back. I'm pulling apart on the, of the carpet, and then I'm reaching back. Notice my shoulders are not dropping any quicker than my hips are. Again, I pull, I'm really sitting back, sitting back, sitting back, and then pressing up out of it. You really want to control, control, control that down phase, and then you can push up out of it more quickly, but get that control as you're coming down and back up. Notice also my knees are not really going past the toe of my shoes. They can go a little bit past, but you really want, what happens if people are allowing that to, to go on? It ends up being much more of a quad exercise, and you're not engaging your glutes. So you want to reach back as far as you can and then coming back up. And then you walk forward until you hear the click, and then you can drop down to unload. So I hope this has been helpful for you guys today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to uh, Synergistic Effects here on YouTube. I also have um, Instagram and Facebook where I put out workouts at the end of the week um, after your Monday through Friday movements of the day. You'll get a workout on a Saturday. And then on Sunday, I've been doing um, 40 minute workouts on the YouTube channel. So check that out too. I hope you guys will join me and thanks so much. All right. Bye guys.